this box I think could be the best looking golf clubs you've never seen and we're giving some away. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, you might wonder why we're doing this outside the clubhouse and that's because um, I wanted to show you the unboxing of these golf clubs. Now, you may never have seen these before. These are the Tacoma 101 irons. And like I said, we are giving these away. So let's get them out of the golf course, let's test them and let's see what I can score. Right, and now all that is sorted. Guys, first things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel if you're not new to the channel. But guys, if you are new to this YouTube channel, please take two seconds, hit that subscribe button below. Just realized that's not a subscribe button, but you're gonna definitely want to hit that subscribe button today because we're giving away not one set of these Tacoma irons, but two sets. So I'm giving away this very set, this very set I have in my hands that are still in the wrappers, but obviously will be out of the wrappers because I'm gonna go and test them for you guys now. We're gonna play a handful of holes here at Fixby Golf Club and see exactly what I can shoot. And the guys at Tacoma over on Instagram are giving away a custom set in your specs so we're going to talk all things up but guys all you have to do be a subscriber to this that is the biggest bird i've ever seen guys all you have to do you have to be a subscriber to this channel so smash that subscribe button if you haven't done already like this video and comment below 101 that's 101 like the numbers right and um, we're going to have to take the wrappers off as we go with these but as i said in the intro these could be the best looking irons that you've never heard of. Now, Tacomo's motto is when forgiveness, looks and distance collide, you get, well, I get 194 yards, but you get the iron 101. Right, what are we gonna score, guys? Get in the comments below and let me know what you think. I'm gonna shot trace of these ball flights for you, 194 into the wind. I'm gonna go with the five iron, and I think these could be the perfect kind of beginner iron or even mid handicap iron or even iron where people don't want to spend too much money because these are about 395 pounds ish depending on exchange rates and everything else oh yeah love doing that and you can see that we do have a premium kbs tour 90 shaft and a premium lampkin crossline grip on there so guys if you do win this very set of irons which someone will be doing in a few weeks but i'd love you to come up for a game here at fixby with me as well and we'll test them out properly they are a hollow body construction so they should go miles right come on into the wind not an easy shot first shot of the day a little bit of offset on here and a nice big head oh my gosh Right, that's, um, maybe, maybe I just need beginner's irons. I mean, it's not close, but the strike, it didn't hook, yes. You see, with the amount of offset on these clubs and with the wind off the right, I expected that to hook a little bit, but it actually maintained its flight. And I know what you're all thinking as well. Beautiful day, just not that way. That's why we're in a rush. So guys, also get in the comments below, not just to enter the competition, but let me know what you think about the look of these Tacoma Iron 101s. Would you game them? Would you use them? Would you buy them for somebody who's potentially getting into golf so you don't spend a fortune on a tailor-made title? It's Mizuno, Callaway, the higher-end brands. I love that first shot. And I must say, hitting this green does sometimes evade me. So you can see us there just on the right-hand side. Flag high, not an easy two put, but like I said on the tee, quite happy if anything if i'm gonna miss it slightly right that's the exact miss i want because i'm mentally scarred from missing it left so much jumpers are available must say as well i'm rather impressed with the stopping power to say it is a hollow body iron come on then come on then keep going That's a par on the first hole and it's not an easy par three that especially in the wind and the conditions like I've said today and obviously one of the big positives for these clubs is the price like I've mentioned. Guys what do you think is a good price for irons? Is sub £400 for a set of four iron to pitching wedge with KBS shafts and lampkin grips a good price? Especially when they look like that. 
We're going to try and find a different hole because we've just spotted a couple of four balls around which might slow us down and end up getting a bit moist. I knew we'd be fine on the trusty old last three holes. And whilst I know this is an iron review video, I still want to try and get a score going. So we'll, we'll go drive. Should open her up wonderfully. Yes. So in all seriousness, how important is a good looking iron to everyone? Because I keep saying this, but if that had a different badge on it, I mean, I actually quite like the badge, but if that had a more well-known badge on it, a TaylorMade, a Callaway, a Mizuno, you know what I'm getting at here. Could you put a one in front of that 395 and almost get it? Because that's what a lot of the big brands are doing. And yes, I know there's a lot of R&D gone into it. I know there's a lot of marketing gone into it. I know all the big name players are asking phenomenal amounts to play the clubs. But how much of that really matters? Like really, when you get down to the bones of it, if I play these four holes we're going to play in level par, I don't know where I'm going with that, but I'll probably enjoy myself and I'll probably be happy with level par. So I'm just going to get this in again, guys. Remember, we're giving away two sets of these golf clubs. Just be a subscriber to the channel, like this video, comment below 101, and go and follow the guys on Instagram. I'll put that link in the description as well, so you cannot physically miss it. So the drive has opened the hole up pretty wonderfully, actually. We should have about 160 yards in here. So uh, I think with these clubs now, obviously, now obviously a hot topic at the moment when we do talk irons is lofts. And as you'll see on screen now, the lofts here aren't too bad. We've got a seven iron at around 30, which I know is a little bit strong, but for the style of iron these are, it's never gonna be that traditional, is it? You look at the blade length, you look at the offset, you look at that top line, everything's going towards more of a, easier longer club to hit so we have that's incredible it's 170 i called it on the nose or did i say 160 170 i think we're downwind we're not we've got a crosswind there and i'm gonna hit hard eight iron i'm gonna have to take these wrappers off again well it came off easy we've also got a nice touch on the wrapper you can see we've got the loft on there so the eight iron is a 34 degree loft and that's a 63 degree lie it's a nice little qc check isn't it as well um this would be ideal if there weren't people behind me but just a nice fade use the lie ball below feet how does the mid iron feel that feels so good it's actually gone a bit left but it, wow, that's, I mean, that's gone a long way, but it does help when you get it out of, uh, out the mush, as Foxy would say. And I mean, if you want to talk stats, that's, uh, that's two greens in two. And at the end of the day, I know that's going to be a lot of people's most important factor. How does it make you play? Does it make you play better? Does it hinder your game? Does it make you play worse? Would you be better getting a more expensive set of golf clubs, a custom fit? set of golf clubs obviously you can order these in your specs online which one of the sets we're giving away will be available for but you've got to make sure those specs are right you've got to make sure that you've invested the time getting the lie angles getting the shaft length getting the correct grip all that good stuff but then for 395 pound or there or thereabouts are you just going to take that all day long and again a lot of people ask with hollow body clubs what's the stopping power like that's an eight iron a little bit downwind and it stopped within seven feet i think we can say and i can honestly say i've never seen a flag this far back ben what are you doing to me oh go on then go on then turn oh. and yeah i hear what you're saying you've not made a birdie yet you've had two kind of little shouts at it but that's not really down to the irons is it yeah i might have put my irons a little bit closer but I fancied both them puts when they were halfway. And it's two pars, which is good, I think. So what tech do you get in these clubs for that price? And for those looks, they look so good. As mentioned, you do get the hollow body design, which is similar to the TaylorMade P790, the Ping 500, and a few other clubs that would set you back quite a lot more money. The 101 irons also feature a precision milled face for high ball compression and spring effect for maximum ball speeds, even on miss hits. Which, yeah. Right, what do we have here? 188, we're playing all the fun holes today. And I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the five again, because it's about the same distance that we had 
on that first par three that we played. I can't feel the wind here, but actually the ball flight's been that penet the ball flight's been that penetrating. It's actually not affected it that much. A one would be lovely. Would be lovely. This is all over it, and that was a bit heavy as well. Oh, that's delightful. That is delightful. I didn't strike that very well. It still felt pretty soft. And yeah, yeah. So you may have noticed on the channel recently, more so this year, I have been testing more budget orientated golf clubs, more cheaper golf clubs, more golf clubs that pretty much anyone can buy. And I think it's great that these clubs are coming to the market because even if they're not the best, even if these aren't as good as tailor-made P790s, which consistency-wise in the studio, they may well not be. If you want me to test that, get in the comments below and let me know. Even if they don't last quite as long, even if they don't play quite as nice, I think it's fantastic that more and more people are getting into golf, which they are. Stats have proven that the pandemic's actually been quite healthy for golf. It's helped people get outside, get active and get playing. And the fact that these companies are making clubs that people can afford to play with, I think is outstanding. So I'll take my hat off to all of you and then swiftly put it back on because I'm due a haircut. So you see, just shy of 190 yards, not my best strike. Yeah, it's like a couple of feet short, but that's definitely... You're looking at a two. Well, it's a definite three. Right, we're definitely not going to walk off of any more than a bogey. I also feel like the race is on because the guy behind me who wasn't behind me when we cut in and now looks like it's his personal vendetta to catch up, so... Keep this party moving. Right. Uphill, left to right, it is actually... I needed to strike it well to get it there, I think, with this club. You've left that one short. You've raced the others by and you've left that short. Ugh. How often have I said that it just comes down to the putter in these videos? So often. It does. That's another par. Right, so we have a par five left. So for everyone commenting, saying that I was going to shoot level, chances are high. For people commenting, saying that I was going to shoot under par, then still a chance. And for people commenting, saying that I was going to shoot a million, there's every chance, so you're all in with the reckoning of guessing correctly. And on this last hole, I'm going to give you some proper opinions about these irons, about how they properly look, about how they feel, about how they performed. But first things first, let's try and get a drive away, because this is, this could be a birdie hole if we do. This driver costs more than the whole set of irons, ironically as well. But when you hit it like that, you almost don't mind. That's the best drive I've hit in ages. The heat is on. There's a song there somewhere, I think. So, what do I honestly think to the looks of these irons? I think I've said it all in the title. These are potentially the best looking irons you've never heard of or never used, or I don't know exactly what terminology I'm going to use yet. When you look down at the ball, they do have quite a thick top line. The blade length's nice and long if you're not that comfortable with a shorter blade length. But one thing I'd say is the ratio of the toe to the heel, like there's a lot of what feels like wasted space out towards the toe, you know, past where the grooves end. I know that's obviously to give the clubs a consistent weight ratio to get the proper MOI to get that forgiveness. I would be interested to see if they brought out a player's iron because I do feel like these are really well made and I feel like they actually have some character to them, which is nice. So we're making that lovely walk over the hill on the 18th here at Huddersfield again. You can probably hear the wind up now into our face. You can hear my breath getting shorter and shorter. So we've actually done quite well there with that drive. We're down near the 150 marker. We're into the wind, so I wouldn't expect it to be much further down than that. And that's actually a nice distance to test yet again these mid to long irons. And when I spoke about, in fact, I'll show you the seven iron, for example. The ratio of toe to heel, as I've mentioned, there's a lot of room here. I feel like that could be more sent. But then looking down at it, I mean, I mentioned the top line was a bit thick, but I mean, if you said to me, James, go and play any golf course in the world, but you've got to use these clubs, I'd be like, yep, 100%. Yes, please. I'd be interested to see how they wear as well, because the finish on them is just glorious, and I'd hate that to kind of get battered and bruised with it being such a nice looking iron. I think we can safely put the 7 iron away, because we have 202 yards um, into wind as well. I'm going to hit the 4 just because we've not hit it yet and i know that because i've not taken 
the wrapper off this don't do that now please off this lambkin grip do not come on just car oh. ah oh, i might just hit five yes the dream's alive right middle of the green two puts for birdie thanks for coming Oh, that's so good. Come in! Drop! Get left a bit! Oh. Just so easy. So, I mean, that was actually... That was actually a tiny bit toey. But it felt so easy just to launch... Oh, what was on my hand then? Oh, oh, that was not very nice at all. But it felt so easy to get the ball up, to get the ball airborne, to get it travelling forwards. But I could have probably used a 5-iron there and really tried to wrestle it. But a nice easy forehand into the breeze has actually worked quite well. It's a little bit right. We are chipping, I think. So it'll actually give us a chance to maybe use one of these clubs around the green and see what the feels like around the green. Ah, I thought I'd seen it disappear. That never, you know, I don't think it's ever happened to me before, but we'll go there. It's no nearer, I don't think. And this is by no means an easy shot to get up and down for birdie. I'm going to use the nine iron and again, Sorry if we ever win these, I'm taking the wrappers off quite briskly now, but let's see if we can get a nice bump and run up there. Oh, go on then. Just sit a little, sit a little. I'm taking that. Look where that came out of. That's the, uh, you know, I tried playing bump and run. Wonder why it doesn't check. Yeah, that was terrible. We'll put you away for now. And we've got this for a closing birdie with a one under par for four holes. Which I think is bad for less than £400. Obviously we're only talking irons there, like the rest of it was, um, the rest of it's quite expensive. What do you line? Oh, you absolute, honestly. Ugh. And that is a, actually quite disappointing. Level par with budget fantastic sexy looking beautiful clubs so really am i that bothered um i don't think i am really and i'm well aware that i'm zoomed in on these and not uh, and not me for a change because i stand by what i said in the title these are the best looking clubs you've never seen but now you have so there you go well guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you have enjoyed that video if you have make sure you do smash that subscribe button below remember to comment 101 and go and follow the guys at tacomo golf on instagram for your chance of winning not one but two sets of those irons guys thanks again and i really look forward to seeing you all tomorrow boy i was going to take my hat off then but then we've oh, got a meal deal in car.